Hello and welcome to Festool TV. My name is Jose. Today, I'm taking you to the roof. More specifically, a very old roof. I've brought a model to show it better. We're often in this situation on the roof. If these roofs have not been well maintained, there are frequently leaky spots. Imagine that there was a faulty roof tile here. Over years or decades, water has trickled down and found its way into this area, which results in damage to the area around the base point of the rafter. The wood is also frequently rotted through in the sill area. In this area, we often have problems with the lack of space when replacing rafters. In a listed building, only the damaged wood is allowed to be removed and replaced. This is the situation I'm going to simulate. The situation is as follows. The lower part is rotted and has to be replaced. Firstly, I'll remove the jack rafter. With this kind of old roof, it's normally nailed in place, not screwed. I'll just put the screwdriver down. I've already marked the area that we'll be working on. Imagine this part is rotten. So it's got to be replaced. I want to cut it out and replace it with a new piece. How do we do that? Here we have the OSC 18 cordless accelerator. It's very well suited to tasks like this. It's a mobile tool that means we can work very well without cables up on the roof. We could make the first cut freehand. But I want to show you a special feature. The positioning aid. The positioning aid attaches here. I'm turning it. The green lever has to be pressed at the same time. Now we can work in this position. We can also set a depth stop. In my case, I've already done that. I want to perform the cut and plunge up to this depth. We can get started right away. Firstly, I'll cut the transfer section. Then I'll perform the rib cut. As you see, we've got a very clean cut. However, large volumes of dust are generated. For decades, rodents, pigeons and so on have lived in the old beam. It's often contaminated with droppings. So it's a good idea to use dust extraction. I'll fit it now. The dust extractor is easy to attach. If you have a remote control, you can use it to switch on the extractor. Alternatively, you can switch on the extractor using a Bluetooth battery. But I don't have that battery right now. So we'll switch on the extractor with the remote control.
As you can see, it's very easy to operate. I've guided the machine freely using the positioning aid. I'd like to show you another trick for this lower horizontal cut. I'm going to use a small piece of wood as a parallel side fence. This means I'll be able to perform the cut very well later. I'm marking out my measurements. I still need to fix it in place. Now we can get started with the parallel side fence. I'll use the chisel to remove the rough piece. We want to insert this piece here. When you feel along the edge, it's clear we've got a perfect fit. It's possible to cut precisely with the OSC and the positioning aid. That's how we get such a good result. I hope that was useful. That's all for now. I hope you'll tune in again soon. I'm Jose. Thanks for watching.